So this is a distinction. Um, I'm going to do it as a voice recording rather than a written piece of work, which is fine. We can send that off to the exam board. I've got my six, six pieces of media here. So I'm going to talk about moving image countryside code, moving image The Simpsons, uh, publication one, which is a Batman comic, uh, a more up-to-date interactive comic, which uses a tablet called Masters of the Sun, I'm going to talk about Cooking Mama, and an app, a game for a tablet and a phone and a PC, and Pokemon Go for mobile phones uh, linked to GPS. Just looking across all of these then, um, most of them seem to be for entertainment. So the Simpsons, Batman comics, Masters of the Sun comic as well, um, and Cooking Mama seem to be for entertainment. Pokemon Go is also for entertainment as well. So, I could add that in. But um, some of them are also providing information as well. So, the main purpose of the Countryside Code is to educate. And others seem to educate as well. Maybe they entertain and educate. So, something like Cooking Mama might provide some information about cookery skills. Uh, and certainly, Pokemon Go educates people about... Um, trying to trying to increase their activity levels by producing in-game bonuses for people that exercise and walk. You could also say that Masters of the Sun links uh, to carries, carries carries a message about the dangers of drugs. So that's education as well. So some of these media publications don't just entertain, they also carry a message, a social message, a community message as well, with a community benefit. So sometimes the dual purpose, but not always. The Simpsons and Batman are for pure entertainment with no um, social message involved. If we now look at and compare, compare audiences, then most of the audiences of these applications seem to be similar. They seem to be mostly aimed at teenagers. In actual fact, you could say that all of them are aimed at teenagers. Um, however, some of them might also link to things like families as well. Not all of them, but family entertainment, such as The Simpsons, you might argue, has got some family entertainment and links to young adults with a sort of um, adult kind of sense of humour. You could say that some of the audiences go a little bit older as well with Pokemon Go uh, that want to use it to, encourage, to, to monitor their exercise levels and how far they've walked with GPS. Um, you could say that this is the, the countryside code links to older people or families then that need to teach youngsters uh, the social message as well. So most of them seem to link to teenagers but three or four of them also linked to adults and families and there's a link there in that uh, sometimes older people might then uh, carry a social, social message or use some of the um, media applications for things other or alongside entertainment. Now if we look at production across the estate you'll see that uh, nearly all of them have some kind of script or initial idea. That's really important to do some pre-planning of whatever publication it is, whether it be um, a moving image, whether it be something that's um, a comic or a leaflet or a flyer or a magazine, then you need to come up with an initial idea. And some of them, especially if it's a TV program, um, might pitch ideas. Less so if it's something like a, a publication um, a program or a magazine you wouldn't pitch ideas but sometimes things like TV programs um, where you're not quite sure about the direction of something such as The Simpsons people would pitch ideas and then the production team uh, the management team would then decide which ideas were best to take forward so everything seems to start off with a script or an idea and quite often then some kind of storyboard drawing illustration so that you can plan how it's going to look, um, what you're going to do next. Um, next thing seems to be that quite often 
especially with things with some media in it, such as your moving publication or your apps, then there might be some uh, illustrations being drawn, there might be some digitized content, sometimes something is only available in print, such as publications and magazines um, and things like older style comics, whereas sometimes something is available in print but also then digitized as well, such as modern day comics where they're available in print but then they're digitized so that they can be brought to life using tablets and phones and QR codes. Even some publications such as maybe uh, a restaurant or a pub menu might be available there for when you visit uh, the, the pub or the um, restaurant so you can see it physically and hold it physically and read it physically but it might be available online as well so sometimes it's digitized alongside so that you could look and see what the what the menu was like before you visited or even decide whether you're going to visit as well so quite often some of these written publications are now available online as well um, some of the things need uh, a developer so a software developer so if it's going to be mainly used on uh, a device um, such as a phone or a tablet then you're going to need a software developer to actually program and do some testing as well testing is more important if it's going to be digitized such as uh, an application an app or a game or something that links to a device then you're going to have to do a layer of testing lots of them seem to have a final draft a final version that then might go to the editing board um, and decide if there's any final improvements to be made before then it's published various different various different ways of publishing these um, different media products they might be sent to a tv production studio or they might be uploaded to an app store depending on the kind of publication it is or it might be sent to a distributor such as amazon marketplace where you can buy them from but they all have distribution except that different kinds of media will have different kinds of distribution whether it be available to to buy in a shop or online and physically get a copy or download as an app or a game off uh, an app store and then finally in terms of different kind of uh, genders ethnicity and socio-economic groupings it's important that it appeals to all kinds of ethnicities all kinds of genders for the simple fact that um, you can then sell more so it's available to a wider audience available to more people there'll be more sales it will be more popular and it might have more uh, longevity some of them however seem to link to particular kinds of uh, genders maybe some will link more to males than females i'm thinking about batman uh, wonder woman might appeal to a particular uh, gender and also some of them might link to um, more wealthy socio-economic groups so you might need a mobile phone you might need the latest mobile phone or a tablet you might need data on it i'm thinking especially for some of the apps such as pokemon go whereas something like uh, a program or a comic that's available you could just buy as uh, a one-off and you don't need the technology and the data behind it uh, to be able to run it